Greetings. Well, hello, everybody. Larry here. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a live stream, so I thought I'd get on and hang out a bit, see who's out there that would like to kind of hang out with me and just shoot the chats a while, C-H-A-T a little bit. So let's get on and do what we do best. Chat. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see. <clears throat> it's been about eight months since uh, I've been on live and uh, I did have a few people inquire about that. So voila, here I am. I'm back. <clears throat> so what has been the deal with me to be away for such a long time? And eight months is a long time, and I think that's worth uh, an answer. Uh, you know, I go up and down with uh, with the health issues, so uh, I just wasn't in the groove to to get on and go live. Uh, uh, sometimes it's just uh, so overpowering for me that I just can't do it. Uh, but uh, hey, I'm back today, so those are the reasons and. Uh, on with the show. It's time to go forward. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, what's been going on? Well, I guess a lot of stuff. What's happening for the 4th of July that just passed? Didn't do much here. Uh, I did work on some new videos. Uh, I have a lot of new things I am working on behind the scenes that uh, hope Hopefully they will become a reality, and I think everybody's going to enjoy them. Can't tell you what it is yet. Uh, I haven't quite hit that 300 subscriber mark yet, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. 3,000. I'm 3,000. I said 300, 3,000 uh, mark, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. Uh, and uh, I will be... Uh, purchasing the giveaway from the pin thing store, Brian, the pin thing, Brian, the pin thing store. So, and that's going to be a <clears throat> beautiful uh, Lamia 2000. Uh, so, and some other goodies going to be packed with it. So it's going to be a cool grande giveaway that I'm going to shell out for that lucky person. So what else? Uh, now remember, uh, for those who are interested to uh, to enter to win, you're gonna have to do a pen essay, <clears throat> and uh, you uh, do your little pen essay, and uh, you email it to my Gmail address. Hello to Frank <clears throat> and whoever else is with him. Hey Frank, how's it going? Is that the main man, Frank? Yep. Frank, so peace, love. What's up, brother? Hello to Michael. Hello, Michael, my brother. What's happening? Yeah, all my brothers and sisters, come on, let's join and let's get this thing going on. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, send me your pen essays to uh, my Gmail address, and uh, I'm going to look over them as well as Mr. Announcer is going to look at them, but then they're going to be sent to Brian at the pen thing store, and then he will look over all of them, and then Brian is the one that's going to choose the winner. He then will let me know that I will announce the winner here on YouTube, and uh, then the winner will get back to me and let me know what nip size or whatever, and then I'll get back to Brian, give him all the information, then pay for it, and then it would be packaged by Brian and sent to you from Brian. So that's the latest on that giveaway. Uh, what else has been going on? Mm. Uh, new ink that come out by Jay Haburn. This one is the Kyanite du Nepal and, uh, from Jacques Urban. Yeah, time, time what? Uh, Kyanite. Kyanite, and what does that stand for? That's, is that a Korean? Uh, no, we, I don't know. Oh, that's from France. From France, France probably, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's a different one. Okay, that's the one from France. Yeah, it's a pretty cool ink. Uh, it's got the glitter in it. You know, uh, you know, the glitter is okay. You know, I'm not one that really just gets into glitter. Uh, 
but uh, I do like the color of this ink. It, it really is an awesome ink. If it didn't have the glitter, it would be even more awesome, but the glitter's okay. Uh, just make sure you clean out your feed real good after you use it, but it's a well-worthy ink. And uh, I'll be doing another ink review soon on the... Oh, here it is. This is the Huang To, and it is uh, by Three Oysters. And this one, uh, Huang To, stands for Fertile Earth. Okay, that's a Korean uh, ink we have here, right here. Uh, if y'all can see it, da -da -da. there we go. There we go. And uh, this is more of an orange color, uh, but uh, I will get more in detail when I do a review. Well, in fact, I don't know if you can see this or not. That's the kind of color. Can you see that pretty good on the phone? Because yeah, I, pretty well. I, I can't. I can't really see it. It's too bright. Uh, yeah, it's coming there. across fine here. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, what else has been going on? Um, Kara says she likes the glitter. Cool. Hey, glitter's cool. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it. I can take it or leave it. Uh, just make sure, like I said, you clean out your pen real good, because uh, that glitter will stop up uh, the that good ink flow in, in the feed if you don't clean it out thoroughly. Hello from Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence, my brother, welcome. Are you going to be getting any more Mont Blanc pens? Uh, you know, Lawrence, God willing, I will. Uh, I have been looking at some Mont Blancs, and uh, you know, there's nothing yet that kind of tickles my fancy the the one i did see was the james dean i believe but you know i i did hear and i forgot where i read this at that mont blanc was going to be going up on their pins i haven't really seen an increase when i checked out the uh mont blanc sites where i shop at so uh you know yeah am i going to get another mont blanc well yeah you know, I'm a Mont Blanc fan, and I'm proud of being a Mont Blanc fan. So uh, my only thing is that I have to save and save and save. But eventually, I'll get there. So, but yeah, uh, I, I plan on getting one. How about yourself? Hey, Burger King. Welcome, my brother. Burger King is up. What is up with the Burger King? So. Uh, what else has been going on, guys? Uh, mm, I'm trying to think here. Got a pen here uh, if from uh, Faber-Castell that I will be reviewing, and it's called the... Tomitio, I think. Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, it's a beautiful, good-looking pen. Uh, I purchased that purchased that from the pen thing store, and uh, you know, I it's the kind of pen you don't want to put down. You just want to keep writing and writing. Talking about a nice nib, this nib is this nib is superb. A quality made fountain pen with a quality nib, nice and smooth. No, no baby bottom whatsoever. You know, because sometimes when a nib is too smooth, overly smooth, sometimes you face that headed, beheaded, hated, eh, baby bottom. But not with this pen. It is not so with this pen. It is definitely a win-win. Uh, so that will be coming up for review. Hello, Jerry. Hey, my brother Jerry. Long time no fling, my friend. Huh, the nudist Connolly. Okay, Mr. Jerry, have you been there anytime soon? Eh. Mr. Jerry gets the... <laughs> the minion yell. All right for Jerry. Yep. So, anyway, what else has been going on here? Ah, uh, la, la, la. Ah. Oh. We have our pin meet coming up Monday of next week. That'll be, is it next week? I think so, yes. The 22nd. Man, that time is flying by fast. 
And Troy LaPlante, he's a, another pen reviewer. He and his family will be joining us at our Fort Worth Pen Club meeting two weeks from now, two weeks, two weeks from this Monday, not next Monday. So that'd be on June 22nd. So Troy's going to be uh, headed this way and joining us at the Dixie Cafe. So that's going to be cool. So Troy, if you're kind of like checking out this uh, live stream later, uh, come on down, brother. So that's going to be cool. What else is going on? Mm, help me out, Mr. Announcer, if you think of anything, because there were some more things. Uh, um, well, I did like your uh, new pen that you got to celebrate the 4th with. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, in fact, I guess you all seen the video. Uh, this, yeah, of course, one of my favorite all pens. Yeah, I mean, you know, th this is a truly cool looking pen and i'm really digging on it cool pen uh here's a pen that i would love to show you it's an oversized uh la 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 laban laban yes i think yeah laban mento beautiful pen pumpkin and ivory and it really writes very well Oversized, a lot of girth to it. Nice, fat, juicy pen. Uh, I won this on an auction on eBay, and I cannot find any more oversized. Looks like this was the only one. But uh, you can uh, find this brand on Ghostbot Pens. I checked uh, the brand out and was looking for other ones, and uh, Ghostbot uh, had them listed on their site. So if you're interested... For uh, Le Mans Momento fountain pen, you might want to check out and see if they have anything cool for you. Also, I uh, want to give out the uh, Pen Thing store. Uh, if you haven't checked out any of Brian's stuff, what you need to do is just email him or give him a buzz. Hello, hello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can you do that? I knew that you could. But anyway, give him a call and just ask him, hey, Brian, this is so-and-so here. I was wondering, do you carry this or that or all like this? And he'll say, yay yeah, or nay. So, but anyway, I tried to uh, uh, give uh, Brian all the support I can. So and that's cool. Um, what else has been going on? Ah, a dear friend, uh, Carol, was, Carol was in an accident, uh, what, about a month ago? Last month? Yeah, yes. And she accidentally fell, bless her heart, and she hurt her arm and she had to have surgery. I and mean, she's fine now, but pretty painful stuff that she went through. And uh she messed up her arm and but it's gonna be fine. She had to have all these stitches and screws and stuff put in. So it was no picnic for her, but she's a true soldier and she made it through and you know, she, she does a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Crocheting. Crocheting. Uh, sewing. So uh, we're sure the speedy recovery. In fact, we just had uh, uh, lunch with them Saturday with Frank and Kara and Andrew. Uh, we all met and uh, ate at Polito, so we had a great time there. Um, what else is going on here? Oh, uh, la, 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 la. Um... Well, what's your next pen that you think you're going to try for? Well, my next pen has to go back to Gold Spot Pens. I've already got the pen. So, and I can't tell you what it is. Then you already know what it is. But uh, I've already got in contact with Gold Spot Pens. They, I got the silver trim, but I wanted the gold trim. So, you know, I, I, I don't want the silver trim. So I've already send in a, I guess they call it a ticket on gold site return thing. So hopefully they'll get back to me tomorrow. If not, I'll give them a buzz and just say, hey, look, I need to send this pin back. I haven't touched it. haven't done nothing to it. And I was just, if you can, send me another one that uh, has the gold trim. Hello to David C. Hey, David C., my brother, long time no here. Peace. So, uh, 
So that's going to, that'll be my newest one. Yeah, I think it will be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else is going to be going on here? Um, well, anybody like to share anything? I'm the one doing all the blabbing, so come on. Let's everybody give some input here. Don't be bashful. Don't be shy. Let's get into the groove. And so what have you guys been doing? Huh, really? Do you have anything in mind that you're going to look for at the Dallas Pin Show? Yes, I'm going to look for... Pens, inks, paper. I know I'm going to have to stop by and see Mike over at uh, uh, Franklin Christoph table. Uh, and you know, I have yet to get a Franklin Christoph pen. And then I need to stop by Kevin's place at Fountain Pen Revolution. I'm going to check out the, uh, Kevin has, uh, you know, the, the gold nib that he just come out with. And I'm thinking about getting that gold nib on one of his pens and, and doing that uh, purchase there. Uh, yeah, I've got to stop by and uh, check out Anderson pens as well uh, and make a bunch of little stops. And, and I think I plan on doing a, uh, a few Something new, I think. I, I'm probably be passing out uh, some free uh, samples of ink. That's my goal. Uh, I've got a plan that uh, I want to meet people uh, and uh, and just hand out, you know, some sample bottles of, of ink. So I think that would be interesting. Um, what else is going on? David says he's going to go through the DC show and the uh, Triangle Pin show. Oh, well, cool, Dave. Congratulations, brother. Wow. Any plans for David to buy anything out there? Yes, Frank, 82 days for the Dallas Pin Show. I think uh, Doc James will be him and somebody else. I think they're going to set up a table, didn't he say, and sell some pins? I think that's what he said. Yeah. And uh, Doc, that's James in our pin club, he has this beautiful Visconti sterling silver, brand new, that he's going to sell. Uh, so that would be interesting. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. I was going to show you all something, and now I'm forgetting what it is. Ah, okay. Here is my Visconti Homo Sapien. Um. Remember this one? I've forgotten what that one's called. The oh, the Shanta Shot. There you go. Yeah, he remembered. Yeah, here it is, folks. Yay. Yep. This is the one that got stolen a few years ago, and uh, I got it, uh, but I bought it again. So, yay. And it does write like a dream uh Touch and nib should write beautiful pen, gorgeous knockout, a dream. So that's one. Um, well, here's something interesting that I've rediscovered. Uh, noodlers Ahab, they don't get enough love. Noodlers Ahab, well, Nathan puts out a really nice, affordable fountain pen with a really decent flex nib. And in my opinion, I don't think they can beat that for that kind of money. Yeah, I hear, you know, the smell is bad. Some people say it's horrible, can't stand it. But, you know, it's not that bad. You know, I just, I bought a, a new one uh, about a month ago. And uh, 
the smell wasn't all that bad and it'll go away. For me, it's, you know, no biggie. But, uh, you know, I bought two of the Ahabs back in 2015. And I used them for a while and they were okay. But then I bought some Conrads and they were okay. So, but for some reason, I just didn't connect with them like I thought I would. And they're okay pens until I picked up an Ahab that I had on hand and I used it. I used it and I fell in love with it. I, I just totally just, I love it myself. So I ordered another one and I got the medieval one because I wanted to get a new model that they put out. So I did that. And you know what? You can't go wrong with a neuter Ahab, in my opinion. I love them. I like them and I'll use them. Jerry says that the Ahab is Ray Stevens' favorite pen. Yeah, well, let me tell you about Ahab, the Arab. Isn't that right, Jerry? That's right. Yeah, I can go on and on and on. So, yeah, I'm with you on that, brother. Yeah. So, you know, Noodler's pens, they rock. I like them. I'm fine with them. And the reason why I'm saying this, because I've had some questions about the Noodler's. They're easy to disassemble and maintain, and they're easy to put back together. They have a real decent flex nib. They're a nice, decent fountain pen, a nice size. So, you know, you can't go wrong with 23 bucks. So, yeah, cool pen. And what else is going on? Um, anyway. Ah, been to the movies, and we went to see... Yesterday. Have you heard? Yesterday. All right. Now, stay with me, my friends. Are you all ready? I've been checking out the trailer on yesterday, and really didn't do much for me. And, you know, it's about the Beatles, and, you know, my beloved Beatles. Okay. So, uh um, I wasn't going to go. So last minute I said, you know what, Mr. Announcer, let's go check out yesterday. I'm bored. I need something to do. So we did. And as I was sitting through the movie, it started to get interesting. And it really got interesting. I mean, then it took off. And I'm like, glued to the screen and like I'm watching, I'm watching everything, every person, every movement. And then getting to the final part of the movie where it all exploded. And you can ask Mr. Announcer, I was jumping already. I was screaming. I was yelling. I was singing with the sound that they were jamming out. And uh, there was two people that were very interesting that caught the singer's attention and was wondering about them. And the gentleman held up a yellow submarine. Hmm. So, would you mind getting that for me over there? He held up this yellow submarine and it caught the singer's attention. And it goes like this, yellow submarine, la, 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 la. See, can you dig that? Yellow submarine, yay. So, they finally came, the couple finally came and they talked and because see, nobody remembered the Beatles because they had a blackout for what, 12 seconds? Yes. So nobody ever heard of the Beatles. So he, he remembered the Beatles and the songs and all the words. So he was playing the music and he was getting all this credit for the music. And after he talked to this couple, he started thinking, well, he ended up going to a house by the ocean. Now, here's where it really gets super cool. It's, it's, it, now, if you can imagine me, a Beatle fanatic, Beatle freak, just totally freaking out. He knocks on the door. 
the door opens. Can I help you? And he says, and I'm looking at these drawings first. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, and these drawings were like telling me something about who's in this room. There's drawings of pictures all over the room. So who could this be? And they showed the picture of the dude that opened the door. And when they did, I screamed. I yelled and out loud, was it not? Oh, yes. I started clapping. Yeah, hey, hey, Why did I do that? Well, it was John Lennon, folks. He's the one at the door, and he was talking to the dude that came to see him and asking questions and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, uh, I, everybody was grooving to the to the movie. So, anyway, that was a blast. I was jumping up and down. It was just, wow, what a high. I'm telling you. Super movie, super bad, and it's worth the go to look at. Uh, regarding your pe previous pen that you were talking about, Jerry says the odor fades after a while. Yeah. But he has it, his is blobbed ink occasionally. Well, uh, clean up that seed uh, uh, blob. Blob. Blob of ink that falls out. Is that what you're saying? Because if it is, you know, that ebonite feed, you might want to have you worked on the feed to check out your feed, see why it's, if it's if we're on the right page, dropping some ink out blobs, or is it like your feeds all stopped up? Which one is it? And hello to Ambika and Ulysses. I've never had any problems yet with my uh, Ahab. I've had some blog issues that were big drops of ink that would fall out, and I would uh, have to go in there and readjust my feed. And that would usually take care of it for me anyway. So He says it blobs if he doesn't keep it topped up. And also, uh, if you're using an eyedropper, no, I don't use eyedroppers. Uh, uh, but uh, they say if that ink gets below a certain level, that you will have that issue. So you have to fill it above a certain level so it wouldn't do that. Like I said, I don't use eyedroppers, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I got a uh, a question about what what's my thing on uh, clipless pins. Well, again, I'll tell you like it is. I just don't care for pins that don't have clips on them. That's just me and my thing, you know. Uh, I have a few that don't have clips. I don't use them a lot. Hardly use them. Uh, but uh, I like pens that have clips on them. That's just me. I mean, and I don't have many demo pens. Uh, I, I have that one clear one from the Ahab. And I have, of course, my Twisby. Those, those are some of my favorites. But uh, I don't have many, but I prefer a clip because I always either like to clip it onto my shirt or my pocket. Uh, so that's all there is to it. I just don't care for a clipless pen. And Bika says she's currently using a Jinhao 991, including on her pen pal letters, one of which is yours. Right, right. How, is you, how you doing, girl? Hope everything's going cool there. Peace. Yeah. Uh, I was going to touch about something when she said that. Now I forgot what it was going to be like. But anyway, uh, on pocket pens, I, I'm, you know, I have a few Kavecos. Uh, yeah, I think three of them. Um, I just had never been really big on pocket, I mean, pocket pens, you put, you know, the small pocket size pens. Nothing wrong with them, just not my bag. Frank and Kara love their Jinhao 51As. Those are great pens. I have two or three of those. 
those are very nice pens. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can't go wrong with them. I like them. They look great. They feel great. Great. They write very well. Uh, it's a win-win. So that's cool. Um, what else is going on? Uh, I don't know if y'all heard, but I, I haven't checked with Kevin, but Fountain Pen Revolution, I'm sure they're done by now. Kevin was working on a, fixing up a, a building or a room because he expanded his business. Now it's it's gotten bigger. So I think it's going to be out where he lives still. And that's, is that Plano? Close to Plano where he is? Yeah. At? yeah. So that's the latest. And it's has about three or four rooms in there. It looks pretty big. So I haven't been out there yet. Um, ah, Retro 51. How many got in on the getting the, the new retro moon landing pin? Anybody? Hello, hello, Greasy Pete. Hello, my brother, Greasy Pete. Welcome to the jungle. I have, I pre-ordered mine from Ghost Spot Pen. So, yep, got to have one. I like the Retro 51 pen. They just rock for me. Um, what else has been going on? Anything on your end? Nothing yet. I'm trying to think. Went to see Annabelle. That was a great movie. Went to see Chucky. That was a great movie. Um, been thinking of a new giveaway to come up with. So you might want to keep your eyes and ears open for that one. That's going to be happening soon. Where is it going to be? Uh, this one's going to be on the YouTube, I believe. Uh, and, well, I think it'll be worth the winner's wow to whoever wins to enter. It's going to be a different one. Uh, so that would be something that's on my agenda to get done. So, anyway, got a new thing, a lot of new things working. And do you know if Retro 51 is going to do a pin for the Dallas Pin Show? Have not heard yet. Or if Noodlers will have a special ink for the Dallas Pin Show. Haven't heard that yet either. And uh, you know what? And I will try to, to find out that answer on the Dallas Pin Show. I'm writing me a note right now. Noodlers ink and retro 51 the pen for the Dallas Pin Show. David, don't burn your dinner. Uh-oh. What's David doing? He said he got distracted with cooking. Oh, what are you cooking, Dave? David is cooking? All right. Yeah, I've been cooking a, a lot this week, so maybe too much. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, what else has been happening? Sure enough, when I hang up here, I'll remember what I was going to say, then uh, it'd be too late. Uh, Uh, oh, he's got uh, some smoked chicken, mm. steamed veggies, and couscous. Okay. That sounds like a interesting variety. I need to check out that smoked chicken, David. Don't be selfish. Let's see. Ambika says she ordered the Jin Hao 321, which is discontinued. The Schaefer VFM looks similar but she found it to be a disappointment in 2012, the last Schaefer that she got. Oh, okay. All right, moving along. 
nine people. So, hey, what's a good time to come out uh, on a Sunday live stream, folks? Six o'clock, is that good for everybody? Or is seven o'clock a better uh, time frame for folks? Uh, I know six works okay with me. Um, so, you know, any ideas? Feel free to leave your comments and let me know. Greasy Pete's going to try a moon man. Oh, uh, good luck. Uh, you're talking about the, uh, the the small pocket one or, or the full size with the clip? Uh, 600S. Okay. Going to go for the moon man. Let me know how it works out for you. You know, moon man is a pen that, I don't know, I just uh, haven't had much interest in. Don't know why, but uh, now the pins I do have interest in is like the pin BBS. Uh, I think those are really cool pins. You know, I like the way they look, the way they feel, the way they write. Uh, Moon Man, I have, have seen some, I've held some. I, I, I just, I haven't yet connected with the pin yet. So not saying they're a bad pin. To each to their own. They're cool. We all have likes and dislikes. And Moon Man, you know, just I haven't connected yet. Who knows? Maybe one day I will. Ah, have you all tried? And Frank and Carl, this is going to be going to you guys, especially because you're the ink masters. The Noodlers American uh, Blue Eel. That is one bad boy of a color. That is beautiful color. Yeah, Noodler's man on that blue eel that came out really hot. It popped. I love it. Yeah, I do like a lot of Noodler's inks. They really have some great colors as well. Really nice. Uh, Frank and Kara have not tried that one. Wow. And I do have the uh, the black eel as well. That's a nice black if you're into blacks. Uh, welcome to uh, TJO Jones. Welcome, my brother he says, Jones. I got a moon man. It is an eyedropper, so I learned it burps when half full. There but you it, go. But it has a good nib. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was talking about earlier. When it reaches a certain level, it'll burp and bleh. So they always say to keep it above that level, whatever level they're talking about. Like I said, I have no idea because I don't do eyedroppers. I like to change my inks too much, man. I got too many inks back there, and there's so many inks that I haven't even touched. So I need to get busy and start touching them and using them. Uh, so uh, I've always been that way. Uh, do you folks use, are you in the habit of using the a pen, let's say a red pen with and match it with the same color ink, or does it matter to you if you have a red or orange or green or blue pen and you use whatever color in them? Uh, Carol likes to match up the inks. Frank doesn't really care. Oh, I'm both ways. Whatever the mood hits me, I'm going to do it. Uh, and sometimes it takes a while to decide what ink do I want to use. And David C. matches some, uh, especially the Optima LEs. Okay. Yeah, that's the one, uh, Mr. Announcer, that I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, Dave. Yeah. That Optima, uh, I'm with you, uh, and you'll know more later. I just can't say anything more yet. But uh, what else is happening? Uh, hmm, I am trying to think here. David, are you going to be helping anybody at the Dallas Pin Show? Hey, Danny, if you're out there, how's it going, brother? If you happen to see this video, Mr. Danny, peace, my brother. 
Uh, David is working the D.C. and Dallas this year. Okay. Are you, are you helping that same gentleman that you helped last year? Uh, Pete says he the Moonman 600S has a converter and an updated nib. Uh, let's see. David says yes, he is. Uh, Mr. Jones says uh, uh, he tries to match the pen, but it doesn't always work out. Uh, he's got a bunch of calligraphy pens that all look alike but have different nibs. Uh, so he uh, just memorizes what he puts on them or uses on a scratch pad. Let's uh, see. Ambika doesn't match with hers. She uses a red ink cartridge in a transparent blue 991. Uh, anybody buy any of the new uh, uh, Leonardo, I think, pens? I think I've got one or two. I think i got a black one. I know I have a black one for sure. You know, what I, uh, what I did find to be very impressive, in my opinion, for me anyway, is the new Visconti, the uh, uh, one they just came out with, the Breeze and the next one after that. Well, those two, the Breeze and the one above that, they were both really nice fountain pens. Wrote really well. And they all they all look very very nice. I mean, I don't think I have any in the drawer here. I think they're all maybe put up. If I can find one. No. Uh, Frank says Mirage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think I got four of those. Uh, Jerry says matching doesn't matter that much to him, but he avoids invisible ink in a camouflage pen because you can never find it. Can you read that name? I don't have my eyeglasses. Let's see here. Is that the Invencia? Essenza. Essenza? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's a really cool pen. The uh, Monteverdi Essenza. Really a nice pen. Really nice. This one, for me, was a hit. I really enjoyed it. And here... I believe this is the Leonardo, the Hawaiian blue one. This was really a nice pen. Really nice. So a lot of new pens have come out this year that I love. Well, you know, here is my Fearless Twisby. Here's the 700, the Echo, and then the 580. Yeah, And I need to get a new one, I think. The uh, blue one that you were just holding up, does that have beveled sides on it? Uh, let me look. Yes. Yes, it does, Jerry. Oh, you mean this one? No, it does not. No, that, okay, that one. That one, no. It Whichever does. one you're asking about, Jerry, that one does not. This one does not. The Monteverdi does. This one does. David said if he can make it to the meeting, he wants to try out the Leonardo. Oh, okay. Cool. So, David, have you bought any new pens lately? I know you have. If anybody's going to buy pens, it's going to be David. I know Carl has bought a new pen. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. He bought a brown Omos Paragon. Okay, I have two Omos. Uh, let me see where they're at. Yeah, I got two of them this time. Uh, where did I put I think I put them in a pin case. I'll have to show them to you. And a, uh, here's one I've not heard of before, a demo Ogvia. I've heard of it, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. So, David... Are you working later now? Is why you can't make the meetings or what? He said he had been uh, out of town on business oh, trips. Okay. 
Uh, Frank says uh, Kara brought, bought him an Estherbrook with the engraving Fort Wayne Public School on it. That's it. Yep. And let's see. David has an Aurora Aurora Haskell set that he bought in tri the Triangle Show. Okay. On that Aurora, do you find it to have uh, some good feedback or is it scratchy or is it smooth? What was that one you were listening to the other day that sounded like sandpaper? Oh, it, uh, it was the uh, that uh, Jin Hao with the uh, that nib on it with the uh, oh, they use for you can use it for calli calligraphy or flexing. Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Sounded like it was scraping metal. It was a loud. Now here's thing the I've one that heard. right here. He's talking about this one, uh, with the. Uh, oh, can you can you? I forgot the name of this nib. The uh, G zebra nib, is that it? That G nib or whatever it's called. Uh, is that the Fude? No, no, no. That's the one. This one for me was a flop. It just. Yeah. So, what else is going on? Something else has been going on. I'm trying to think what it is. Uh, but anyway, Dave, uh, since you, I don't know if you heard or not, but uh, Troy LaPlante, the other pen <laughs> reviewer, uh, him and his family will be out on the 22nd to the pin meet. Jones likes the uh, G-nib for artwork, but not for writing. That's it, the G-nib. Okay. Yeah, that's it. We had a good uh, turnout uh, at the pin meet. On our last uh, meetup, it, it went real well, real well. <laughs> well, well, we'll hold a spot open for you, David. He may not make it for okay. the next meeting. And I'm trying to think what's going on. Yeah, I wonder how the Anderson Pen Company is doing over there in Chicago now. If anybody's heard any take on that. The way I hear uh, Brian and Lisa talk, things are going well. I'm trying to think of anything else that's been happening. I think what I need to do is start making a list down before I go uh, do a live stream, and uh, that way I won't forget what I want to talk about. Um, hmm. But anyway, I have one pen that I'm waiting for. I've got to send it back tomorrow, and then I have to wait till. I get the exchange and then hopefully I'll have it by end of next week, maybe. I don't know. Um, that's a big purchase. Now, <clears throat> have you tried a noodler's safety pin yet? That's on my wish list. Um, Jones says that's his grail pin with India ink in it. D uh, tell me why, why is that? What is special about the Diddler's safety pin. I've heard things about it, good things about it. I'm just trying to imagine all this and process it in my head. You know, what makes it uh, 
such an interesting pen? Because of the nib you twist in and out or, or what? Uh, Ambika says the Andersons are doing very well. And, and, and also Atlas stationers. I'm trying to think. I did get uh, three of the new Lamy inks, which I like, all three. Uh, Joan says on the uh, safety pen, it's easy to clean out. Uh, it, normally, if you put India ink into fountain pens, they clog, but not the safety pen. So how's the nib on it? Is it different than the Ahab Flex? Is it a regular nib in there or what? So, Wolf, the Atlas is an old school stationary store, she said. Mm -hmm. Is it still around or what? Yeah, she said their uh, Atlas Stationaries has uh, two, two shops. Uh, Joan says the nib is more like the Charlie pen, just a nib. Okay, I have a Charlie pen. I have to ink it up and check it out. Okay, cool. Uh, here's one thing that I, I'm going to just kind of, uh, talk about for a bit. And Mr. Announcer, remember the lady that used to hang out with us a lot? Was it Michelle? Yeah, Michelle Rain. Yeah, that's the one who passed away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody's heard or not. Michelle, what? Rain. Rain's passed away, uh. Who's the gentleman that told me? I don't remember. Um, he got a hold of me. Uh, oh, everybody knows him when I, if I remember the name. Pretty popular around the pen community. But he let me know because I was wondering what happened to Michelle because Michelle would always hang out with us, man. But she passed away. That was this year, wasn't it? No, I think that was last was year. Was last year? Yeah. Okay, last year. And I believe she passed away. She had cancer, wasn't it? Yes. So, you know, all this time she was hanging out with us. She was ill, but she was a strong woman, and she really loved fountain pens. So, you know. Okay, that came from David. Oh, it came from David? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought the other guy also told us, the one that has all them pens. But anyway, uh, she is missed. And I just wanted to get that out because I haven't done a live chat for eight months. So been a while. Okay. It was back in March when we found out. Okay. So it was a little later than I thought. Well, I'm not sure, David, if you're the one that told me, but I will look it up because I, I knew I have in mind who told me. And next time I do my live chat, I will bring that up. Uh, he's on Instagram as well. Hey, has anybody uh, heard any more from the conscription.com folks? Are they still around? No, that didn't ring a bell, Dave. No, now you want me to get the phone and look this person up. Okay, I can do that. Now it's starting to bug me. Now, of course, of all times. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, I'll give you the honors to say that name with the P. Oh, penultimate day. Yeah, that's it. 
he's the one that, yeah, reached out and told me. In fact, we talked about it back and forth for a while about that. So I was pretty shocked about it because, you know, we wondered what happened to her. But bless her heart, we lost another pen enthusiast in the family. So, right. you know, prayers go out to the family for the, for the loss. Frank says the penscription.com website is still active. Oh, okay. Ambika would love to come to the pen club meeting, but she's in Chicago. Ambika, you need to come on, girl. Throw your stuff in your bag. Hop on that Greyhound bus and zoom on out. You'd love it. You'd have a blast. Anything on your end? Because it's hard for me to see on mine. Nothing yet. So, Ambika, how's the weather in Chicago, baby? Is it warm? Mm. Is it what? Hard to travel with a cat. Oh, I got you. I got you. Well, if you come, I'll give you two cats. No, one cat you can take back with you. <laughs> Yes, we have an antisocial cat. Yes. Uh, he's nice when he wants to be nice, and he's hateful most of the time. So, mm -hmm. what was I going to bring up? Um, I know I had to get another bottle of KWZ Hawaii Blue in. I had to stock up on that. I've, I've been going through that quite a bit. One of my favorite inks. Mm -hmm. uh, she said it's uh, 73, nice and less humid. Yeah, cool. And her cat likes to be the only cat. Ah, well, just like Grayson. <laughs> yep. Yep. And Jerry Cubby had his dinner, so he's plopped down in the foyer sleeping yeah. right now. He had hamburger meat. Yes, he did. And then when we go to bed, he'll have his bed snacks. He'll have his uh, uh, baby food in the jars. Yeah, he eats about, I don't know, three. Depends how hungry he is, three to five. So, yeah, he he eats very well. And he'll usually come get me all around 7, 7.30. He'll come pace back and forth, rub his head against my leg and kind of nudges me to like, let's go, let's go. You know, so bonding time. And what else is happening here? Oh, what kind of, there's some birds that are about, seven blocks away from us. They're white birds, large, large birds uh, with the skinny long legs. You know, they're real long. Tall and thin. Yeah, really tall and thin. And the kind of birds you see out there close to the lakes and oceans and the islands, there's a, a nest of them that live, like I said, seven, eight blocks way on down. And the people's yards are destroyed but they nest above in the trees. So that's interesting. It was about nine or 10 of them there. Yep. Hello to Evox 64. Welcome Evox 64. Welcome to the jungle. Anything new going on with you 64? Will you still love me? Mm -hmm. Will you still feed me when I'm 64? And, and because cat is watching the birds. Ah, oh. Watching the birds and thinking about the next meal. Uh, they might be some sort of cranes, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, they are some. Yeah, you're right, Jerry. They are some type of cranes. I just I need to. Well, I think I have a picture of them. Yeah, we'll have to check Rodney uh, out on our next pen meeting. He's our resident ornithologist. Uh, do you have um, 
And what are your thoughts about Chinese manufacturers in the budget class? Say it again. I'm, I'm just... uh, Chinese manufacturers that are in what, a, low, what, for a low budget. What I think about the pens. Yeah, I like them. Uh, you know, I don't have a problem with them. Uh, I enjoy the pens. They're affordable. Uh, they write right out of the box. Uh, I really never had a problem with them. Um, so, you know, for pe people that are pen enthusiasts that can't afford these luxury pens or high dollar pens, but they want a fountain pen that they can use, you know, that's perfect. You know, I mean, it's, you can't get more affordable than a, a Chinese pen, right? Yeah. So, you know, I like them. I, I use them. Uh, so there. And uh, a lot of the companies here in the U.S. are selling them. Now, who is that from? Uh, Jones okay. just said he loves the uh, Chinese budget pins too. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. They rock. Yeah, nothing wrong with them. Of course, you have a lot of people that just despise them, don't like them for whatever reason. That's cool. So, you know, I have one of those magnifying pin lights that I got from Good Life Pins back in 2015. And I don't know where the darn thing is. I've looked all over the pin room to the house and I cannot find it. So those are my eyes so I can see what I'm looking at. So now I got to order another one. Other than that, well, anything else going on, folks? Anything new, interesting in the pin world? Anybody subscribe to any pin magazines that are worth getting? Oh, come to think of it, here is a Jin Hao 750 Chinese pen. See, I knew I had one. And what's cool about those, uh, see, uh, la, 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 la. It was a 64 that said that? Yeah. yeah. Which, that, one, which one would be your favorite? Oh, wow. I guess the 159. And then the 750, and then the 450, the 599s are cool, the 51As are cool. There's so many nice fountain pens that, you know, it's kind of hard. But what I like about the 159s and 450s and 750s is that they have that number six nib that you can change the nib out if you want and have a lot of fun trying out different nibs and uh, won't break the bank. Hello to Wayne, who asks if uh, you've ever thought of trying a digital microscope to look at the pens. No. Never gave it any thought. And welcome, Wayne. Welcome to the jungle. Jerry likes the pen BBS. Yes, they do have some nice fountain pens. They sure do. And I'll be reviewing some of those uh, next week. Hey, does anybody do this besides me? Does anybody bed snack or am I the only creature of habit that does that? Come on. There's got to be a few of you folks out there. <laughs> Did I say pin? I was joking, wasn't I? Yeah, I remember I was joking, Frank. Uh, he, he meant snacking in bed, Wayne. Yeah, snacking in bed. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, eat them up. 
yum, yum, eat them up. <laughs> what do you think about that? Ah! There. I need some pens. I need some to be recharged. I mean, fountain pen. And let me tell you, some of the best fountain pens out there is Omos, baby. If you can get your hands on an Omos, any Omos, just get it because they rock. I have the 14K and I have the 18K. And then I then I have another 18K. So I've got three. I got the white one and the two black ones. Mm -hmm. Juicy dynamite fountain pen. And we lost a great fountain pen maker. Omos rock. Evox, what country are you in? He says that he uh, sees many models only in your reviews. Not too much of a choice in his country. Yeah, where do you live, buddy? Oh, pop somebody eats what popcorn and went away. Uh, Jones eats popcorn in bed while um, watching TV movies. Yep, same here. Uh, mine can be popcorn, a bologna sandwich. It can be Ram crackers, whatever turns me on. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Hello to Ferdinand. Welcome, Ferdinand. Welcome to the jungle, my friend. Peace, love. Are oh, you eat your pajamas? Jerry does, apparently. Oh, good for you, Jerry. Keep it up, buddy. You get one of these, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you see that one from Frank? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jerry. You done got bang. Frank, my man. Okay, I'm I'm getting hungry for some chicken. David made me hungry, and I want some chicken. I don't care if it's spoke, fried, I need some chicken. Chicken Express, you rock. Hey, Frank and Carol, when you might need to meet up at Dixie Cafe. And David, if you're interested, you can come too. If you ever have the time, brother. Let's see, Pete says he's got a Twisby 700R that had a crack at the end of the barrel. Uh, when he took it apart, he had to use vice grips because it was so tight. He emailed Twisby and was sent a new barrel. Yeah, I was going to say Twisby is pretty good with that. If you have any problems, this is what I've heard from other people that have mentioned what you have mentioned. Uh, so they're what I would say a reliable source. So Twisby rocks as well. Oh, I was asked a question, and I don't know if the gentleman's on here or not, that I haven't done my Holy Grail pen yet. Which what which pen is my what what I would consider my Holy Grail pen? Hmm. Well, if y'all keep up with my videos, that's going to be impossible because I I love them all so. Can I just choose one? No. I may have about five or six or ten. It changes every month. Don't it though? Yep. Oh, another cool pen is the shark pen. The Jin Hao shark pen. That's a fun pen. Forgot to mention that one. Oh, I see. Jerry's into the cheese popcorn stuff, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So is Frank. Ah, oh, Frank a lot! <laughs> uh, Ferdinand mentions the Platinum 3776. That's a nice one. Cracker Jack is good, too, guys. Let me tell you who's the cook around here. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Mr. Frank, the man can put some vittles on the stove and cook. Yes, he can.
Well, my friends, it's a little after seven o'clock and I'm going to have to say it's time to go. So remember, until next time, and I'm serious, please don't text and drive because I have seen so many accidents, people texting while driving, seriously. And they're weaving in and out of lanes and they're actually looking down and texting and driving. Or they're at a stoplight and they're texting and the lights are already green and people are honking and then they get mad and shoot you the finger because you're interrupted through texting. So it's really bad over here. I mean, you see it all the time. So what does it take for people to wake up to keep safety in their head so they won't get hurt or hurt somebody else or get killed or kill somebody else. Folks, thank you for joining me today on The Hangout. It's been cool, wonderful. It's been great. And how about doing it again next Sunday? God willing, if all cool, we shall do this. What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Sounds good. Sounds great. So next time, my friends, take care. God bless. Until next time. Be safe, my friends. Later, my friends. It's been a blast. Peace out, baby.